and they're out. This is the Seagull model's maxi lift from Legend Hobby. It's a rather interesting utility aircraft for 30cc power. Now, while it may look like a typical high wing sport plane, it actually has a few additional features that make it a somewhat unique model. Wing flaps use offset hinges that are screwed into the surfaces. All control horns are made of fiberglass and are epoxied into their respective slots. The tires are air inflatable, though they seem stiff enough from the factory. You will need to assemble the multi-piece wheel hub before mounting to the landing gear legs. Which then screw onto the bottom of the fuselage. Elevator servos mount into the hatches on the rear of the fuselage. Due to the offset servo slot, I need to remove one of the mount brackets with a motor tool. I will be using high-tech D645 high-voltage servos throughout the model. A rear top hatch accesses the area for the rudder servo and receiver platform. While both the glider tow servo and payload door servos are installed into the bomb bay. The engine I'll be using is the RCGF Stinger 35cc rear exhaust. Which aligns right into the pre-drilled firewall holes. Unfortunately, the installed 4mm blind nuts were for screws that were too small for the engine. So I tapped them out. Drilled out the holes. And installed larger blind nuts. The wings have pull strings for the servo wires. The tow release mechanism is installed into the top of the fuselage after cutting away a bit of covering. Excess rod length is then cut off. Bombay doors use a pair of bell cranks to link the doors to one servo. Several short rods will be used to link everything together. Now the doors can be installed. The links will need some adjusting several times at first, but the whole system works well enough. Tail is then glued on, and slots open for pull-pull cable. Tailwheel is a really beefy ball-bearing unit. The tail is also braced with heavy duty threaded rods. There's a convenient little space for the ignition module if you knock out a little wall in the firewall. Fits like a charm. I'll add some foam vibration cushioning later. Pilot figures are some cool dudes. Opening for engine was traced out using manila folder cardstock and traced onto the cowl. Then cut out after drilling some pilot holes. It worked out great. It was a glorious day at the field with an interesting mix of full-scale aircraft flying above. After a quick check of the bomb bay doors, it was time to load her up with some cargo. She was purring along quite nicely. But I had to be cautious of other traffic. All right, we've got the uh, Legend Hobby Seagull models 
Maxi lift. Huh. All right, we will drop the flaps a little bit and we will go. With the pattern clear, it was all systems go. He's up in a jiffy. Oop. Engine was protesting for her for a second. And go she went. And she's up. This is a fine flying model airplane. Kind of trainer ish. Advanced trainer, I guess you could say. You can just do a turn. Comes right around. Touch a rudder doesn't hurt, but it doesn't really need it. Running RCGF 35cc. What half throttle? And it's a very solid flying model. But I'm not here just to fly, I'm here to drop stuff. We're gonna come around and do a bomb drop. Bomb drop! I'll make sure I kind of close this time. And one, two, three. Whee! <laughs> And they're out. Looks like all the payload was released. <laughs> and on the runway. Made it on the runway. All right. Time to open her up a bit. This is a nice flying plane. We'll come around here. We'll pull into a loop. She'll do a roll. Not the fastest thing in the world, but she'll do it. Go up into a stall turn. It's a very nice and easy handling model. Not sure if it'll do a knife edge. Let's see. Oh yeah, it'll hold a knife edge. Look at that. Quite stable in it. Engine burgling there a little bit. Let's do the other direction. Likes it better in the other direction, but it's all right. Let's try a snap roll. <laughs> a little over rotated a little bit slightly, but it's nice. Inverted. And she will hold a nice inverted. Oh, oh, <laughs> oops, that's interesting. And not in a good way. <laughs> All right, well, wonder that clunk is not quite clunking around as, as well as it should be. We'll stay upright. We'll drop a bit of flaps. That was very smooth. That was very smooth. <laughs> Do some slow flying. This is how it stalls. We'll pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. That's full up. It just kind of mushes. Look at that. Very, very nice. All right, I think we're going to land it. <laughs> I wonder if the fuel uh, system has got some issues. So we're going to come around, get partial flaps. I landed just in time. Oh yeah, you can hear it. Suddenly got Harley eyes. <laughs> That's very weird. <laughs> weird indeed. Ground run up sounded fine, however. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, there's some smoke coming out of the bottom. That was concerning, to say the least. Ha, oh. huh, got a light. <laughs> well, it's interesting. It got cut a little short out to see if something went wonky in the fuel system. But uh, I can see it's a very, very nice flying model. Easy handle, great stall characteristics, short takeoff and landing. Uh, really, really nice and uh, we will check it out, see what's going on. Regardless of any fuel system issues, I had a great time putting the Maxi Lift through its paces. 
And the bomb drop never gets old. <laughs> Could have warned me. I found some space shuttle gliders small enough to cram into the bomb bay. Which I promptly lost by dropping them too high. But that didn't stop me from enjoying just how nice a flyer the maxi lift is. You can loiter slowly without worry. Or open her up and cruise along with authority. She likes a touch of power in landing. Otherwise, it may sort of plop on the ground. Oops. And no, I didn't forget about the tow hook. I was eager to see how well it could tow up my 112 inch mini mall glider. So I recruited fellow club member Russ to give me a tow. The Mexilif had no problems dragging along another airplane into the skies. Climb out was good and stable. If you've never done a glider tow, you are missing out on some great fun. A successful tow and release. And she was ready for more. I should note that I did go through the fuel system and replace the fuel filter inside the tank, so hopefully no more issues for a while. Now I also want to note that I thought that the bay doors didn't quite stay closed strong enough in flight, so I made some slight modifications to the door mechanism. So basically I just moved the control rod connection point further away from the hinge line, so as to add more leverage for holding the doors closed. Now that said, I really quite like this maxi lift. It's uh, maybe a little odd to say, but I really like the utility it offers. Bomb drop, glider tow, and just a nice relaxing model to fly in a very benign flight qualities. Now the 35cc Stinger engine is also good power for this match, for this uh, fairly large model. So if you're looking for some utility in your RC hangar, consider the maxi lift to rain candy and toys on your friends and enemies. Hi, thanks for watching. Please take a look at the video description below for special hobby view sales and discounts. Your purchases help support this channel. Happy modeling. Duh.